everybody. It's, we rolling. Anybody want to go? Hey, what's up? Uh, we're going to say Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rakaf Kadash. You know say All praises uh, to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. And uh, we finished. Go through the spirit. We out here in Columbus, Ohio, this raggedy ass piece of shit city. I really hate this city, though. What you got? Anybody got anything you want to talk go into? Y'all got something. I got something. Oh, you come out here week in, week out, and warn your people. But the trouble ain't come yet, so y'all don't have no reason to listen. Y'all feel like y'all don't have no need to listen. You know? Because trouble ain't here, 12 and 1. I said, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. We got here to warn you that there's a tidal wave coming. I got it. You know? Death and destruction is coming. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days that I use, while the evil days come not, That's right. nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them. Yeah, because a lot of brothers came into the truth when they were young. Oh, yep. You know what I'm saying? You know? And that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's how you know the Lord is dealing with a young brother, man. If they can come in here when they're young, that's when you're talking, the time when your testosterone is high, when you ain't got nothing on your mind but looking for some fucking pussy, man. But that's the spirit of the Lord dealing with young brothers, you know, to come out and look for him, you know? But to remember the days of the Lord in the days of thy youth when the evil days come not. Actually, the evil days is already here. They just ain't escalated yet, you know? I got precepts. I got precepts. Fucking Trump talking about black folks. This is the lowest unemployment for black folks ever, you know? This is the lowest unemployment for black folks ever, man. I don't know nothing but unemployed niggas. The same unemployed fucking niggas. Same word. You know what I'm Only saying? ones got jobs are the women. Deceit. Deceit. Now, this is a time of deceit. Deceit is on a fucking all-time high, man. Deceit. Deceit. Peace and safety. Peace right. and safety. Make America great again. <laughs> you know what's going to make America great again? That great fire. It's going to get burnt by a great fire. You know? I got, I got a scripture for that. Amos 5 and 16, therefore the Lord, the God of hosts, the Lord saith thus. <laughs> Are they talking to us? I was about to say, who's he yelling to? Demons come, man. You know? Demons Damn. get stirred up. That's what the truth does. It stirs up demons, you know? Damn. Right, let me read this scripture. Good. Amos 5 and 16, therefore the Lord, the God of hosts, the Lord saith, wailing shall be in the streets, and they shall say in all the highways, alas, alas, and they shall call the husbandmen to mourning, and such are still for a limitation to wailing. Right, so they're going to be like, they're going to be wailing in the streets. Right now, everybody walking around, lollygagging around. Walking, they don't got a clue about what's going on. They think everything's all gravy. Soon they're going to be wailing. They're going to be crying. Hey, y'all motherfuckers just think wailing is just out hollering and shit. You know, hollering, acting the fool, acting the clown. You know what I'm saying? Wailing is crying, man. From well, the, from the, it is, it's going to be a horror. What's that horror? I have a, I can't say that word. Horror. 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 It's going to be, it's going to be like a horror movie. You know? Horror. Close to that horror. That nasty bitch. Oh, yeah. That nasty shit between that bitch. That's horror. <laughs> yeah, that's horror. Oh that's shit. Horrible. Maybe there's a connection in those words. And it could be. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, and the, all the vineyards shall be wailing. For I will pass through thee, said the Lord. Well, all the vineyards shall be wailing. Soon there's going to be a famine out here too. Because where does everybody get their food from? Y'all notice everybody gets their same food from the same rat nest called the grocery store. Well, I mean, well, there's like a couple little buildings here and there spread throughout the city where everybody gets their food. So what happens if that balance is just slightly messed up? Well, I don't know hey, if that's know, but they're closing a lot of grocery stores. Yeah, they're they closing, closing a lot Because everybody be robbing them. Everybody go in the Kroger, robbing them blind. Yeah. And they can't afford to stay in business. You know, and Jake is a, well, first people can't afford to eat. They steal the food. So a lot of people just steal because they thieve. And they're fucking evil. You know what I mean? 
Now you see people in the store all the time still. Bunch of damn, yeah, a bunch of thieves and liars is what we're dealing with. They come out with these eater mics. They just they steal and just steal, man. Yeah, they can't help. That's yep. just their nature. It's a part of the yep. They got a pantry at home, the whole fucking basement is a pantry full of shit. But these motherfucking devils are still stealing shit. They're thieves, man. And they child molesters. Yep. Child molesters, child poor pornographers. You know the spirit of the Lord is gonna get all y'all busted. That's why they're trying to legalize better food. Uh, the thief, the thief, the thief. Here we go. Amos 5 and uh, 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. That's why you uh, so-called uh, church people, man. You big ass bitches, man. Oh, he's like, I can't wait for Jesus. Oh, so, did y'all pray for some hunkies? Oh, man, we pray. I got drunk. I got drunk. I got drunk. Some good shit. Bro, who's ready to pray for the cops. family? We're talking about them cops. Yeah. Man, that's Actually, good news, our man. prayers were answered when that man, happened. Right, man, right. <laughs> How many times have you talking about Westerville, man? Yeah, Westerville. You know what I'm saying? I hate Westerville. I lived in Westerville. I, I was a victim of that bullshit, racist shit yeah. down there, man. And that, and that garbage ass traffic. <laughs> you can't even drive through that motherfucker. Westerville. Oh, Westerville. Yeah. Huh? Westerville. Yeah, they saw a bunch of rape. Them like cops. Back in the day when my yeah. dad lived in Westerville, they ran his ass out too. You see, your boy got disgusted at us. Because he, he he wanted us to pray for the families of the cops. Oh, shit. We, we are going to pray for them, though. Yeah. We're going to pray for pray today next. These niggas crazy. <laughs> right, we're going to shed a tear of a couple cops getting shot. Right. Right. I don't give a fuck. We're supposed to be out here dancing like, oh. What about all the people they shot and framed it, and murdered? Is they going to come from all the shit with them cops, that's like five deaths each for a cop. The cops are, uh... Just kill somebody on the west. If you shoot a cop, bro, you is not... I think it was two killers. Read that, uh, scripture again. God damn, that wind is... I don't want to get a fine for litter. It's two killers. That's why, that's why it happens. Somebody said something about the weather, man. <laughs> now it's just down here by the river. You get by that river, everything changes. You have to go back up to campus until spring, I'm telling you. <laughs> Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire to date the Lord. So all you so called Christians, you, um, people that believe in the Bible, I'm talking about y'all waiting on the day of the Lord. Y'all don't want to wait on the day of the Lord, man. When the when Yahweh, by some Yahweh Shah, the, the Father and the Son come in their glory, man. The Son is fucking shit up, man. He ain't coming out like the brother always say, he ain't coming out with balloons and like, rainbows. <laughs> rainbow. Passing out sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, peace tree for the white man. Oh yeah, come with a peace tree. <laughs> Alright, we get that scripture next. Hold up. Amos 5 and uh, 18. Woe unto you that desire the day the Lord. To what end is it for you? So what end is it for you? For the end is for us. You feel me? We wait for the kingdom of heaven. They ain't wait for the kingdom of heaven, man. Yeah. They don't even. They don't even. Right. They don't even know about the kingdom of heaven, man. They just think it's a like heaven in the hell. Right. Because we wait for everything that pertains to the kingdom of heaven come. You know. And what comes with it? The kingdom of heaven come is death and destruction, man. That means this world will die and pass away, and the kingdom of heaven coming in. Right? The kingdom will be taken by force. That's right. If you ain't an Israelite, you shouldn't even worry about the uh, the heavens anyway. Because if you're not an Israelite, you're not on his side, you can want him to fight So. Yeah, y'all don't want to see the uh, <laughs> the, the kingdom. Yeah. It's gonna be, especially for Esau. Yeah, you fucking dumbass nations. They, yeah. Let me read the rest of this. Uh, to what is it for you the day the Lord is darkness and not light? So people, they think the day of the Lord, the Lord, like you said, the Lord coming back with rainbows and bunny rabbits. When the Lord coming back, the Lord's coming back bringing death and destruction. That's what's coming. And a whole, they're going to be a, what the script, hey, uh, the script say the slain of the Lord shall be many. Was it at Isaiah 66? You got that precept. Come on with it. It's uh, Revelation 6. And uh, I'm going to start at uh, 17. It says, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Woo! Ooh, the white man ain't gonna be able to stand in that time, man. With his, with his fucking weak ass uh, 
fucking military system, man. That shit ain't gonna work, man. Them underground uh, cities they got, ain't none of that shit gonna work, man. You gonna be put to death, man. Some of you fucking crackers, man, you high up crackers, but you going straight to slavery, man. Yeah, because uh, when the Lord returns, he's coming out of the sky with the angels and the chariots. That's what they call UFOs. And the, uh, the militaries, they're going to try to fight the angels with their fighter jets and their little secret space programs. They're going to try to fight the angels and the Lord. That's it. Uh, what you got? Matthew 10 and 34. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted, too. Thank not that I come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. Right, so you got all these people prophesying about peace. I mean, a lot of pastors always talk about being, uh, talking about nothing but peace. The, the Lord, the one y'all call Jesus in the Bible, in the Holy Bible, in the Holy Bible, he said he came not to bring peace, he came to bring a sword. A sword is an instrument of death, an instrument of killing, a slaughtering, uh, you know what I'm saying? Taking out your enemies. The sword is for the neck of your enemies. That's what a sword is for. And that's what the Lord is bringing. A sword to the neck of you Edomites. Go ahead. It says, Revelation 19 and 11. And I saw heaven open. If you hold a white horse, horse, he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And his righteousness he does judge and make war. Oh, and, and oh, he said in righteousness. He said in righteousness he does make war. The so-called so white man, he go over to these other countries and shit, he's not doing it peacefully, man. He's not doing it righteously. He's doing it in an act of violence. You know, he's going to murder some other nations, which, you know, it's, it's all curses anyway, but the white man's the damn devil. Right, because when the Israelites went to war like King David, he was killing all them evil-ass Canaanites. The Canaanites, they was worshiping Satan. They was worshiping Baal. The Edomites were rotten, bringing all kind of evil on the earth. So actually, when King David was killing all them Edomites and throwing them, uh, and King uh, Amaziah was throwing Edomites off a cliff for fun, really, he helped the earth when he did that. You know, he was helping keep the earth safe. Really, actually, yeah, you got to kill that cancer. So I think he was kill all the Edomites. Oh yeah. It was, yeah, so he, he, was, he was supposed to kill uh, King a Agag. Yeah, he sliced him up in pieces. You know, because people be like, see, the Bible's contradictory. It says, thou shalt not kill, but you guys kill in war. Isn't it? You know? No, it says, thou shalt not murder. Yeah, it says, thou shalt not murder. Because, uh, well, obviously, though, war is just killing somebody. It's two different things. Sometimes you got, how you got to go to war to protect your people. That's what King David did. It was either kill or be killed, you know? That's the way the world works. Oh, it says turn the other cheek. Oh, turn the other cheek. <laughs> and that's talking about the brothers and the truth, man. They ain't talking about fucking, you yeah. out here when it's time to kill, you out here. Oh, I'm trying to give out hugs and shit like the wives in there. Turn the, what they gonna be doing. Yeah, turn the other cheek is like, <laughs> you about to get in a fight with somebody, you know? Yeah. And you're like, just be the better man, walk away. Yeah. That's what that's talking about, you jackasses. Who got this? That you can defend yourself. The time of Esther, when uh, uh, the, uh, I think it was the Hamites. Who was the rulers? The Hamites, right? The Persians. The Persians. The Persians. Yeah. They tried to um, what's name? That one guy, uh, Amen. Whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah, Amen. They eat him, Mike. Yeah, he tried to make uh, like uh, people go against the children of Israel, and they had like a big war. Oh, and they yeah. Had, like, and the king at that time let the children of Israel defend themselves, and that's what happened. They defended themselves. They didn't just sit there and die. You know what I'm saying? Just let them fucking shake the hell out of them. They didn't write something like that. Like a little more. Yeah, I think that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, I he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is, is the, uh, it's like it's called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. So that said the Lord's vesture was dipped in blood. His garment was dipped in blood. They're talking about uh, the one, y'all, sweet Jesus. Well, sweet Jesus is actually the devil, though. That's talking about Yahweh Shad. That, that's the Son of God right there. He said that, that his garment's going to be dipped in blood. So what, what is this a little, they always got pictures of uh, so-called Jesus looking like a homosexual. 
got the long hair. It's like, come, yeah, my children. Like you doing uh, Calvin Klein uh, photos and shit. <laughs> yeah, he's all soft and sweet. He don't match the description of the Lord that's in the Bible. He ain't gonna have that shit. Yeah. I got a precept you that we just mentioned to you. Did you read? Because you read a Bible, you get a whole nother a description. A whole nother scene. It's yeah. like talking about a movie. Like a motherfucker ain't never seen a movie. They talking about, but then you go see it. Like, man, ain't even motherfucker. Was, yeah, he lied about it. <laughs> no, it's, it's like, yeah. You know how when a good movie comes out, and then the little bootlegger movies come out? Yeah. Like, the got the same title. Yeah. But it'd be like low budget and garbage. Yeah. <laughs> what was a good, one, good example of that? Remember when the Thor movie came out? And then they, uh, had, yeah. they came out with the low budget Thor movie with Kevin Nash. <laughs> oh, that shit was terrible. <laughs> it was horrible. What you got? Luke 22. With the time we in, man. Uh, we got here throwing the warning out to the people, man. Y'all better be getting ready for this war, man. You know, with the men of the Lord, all, we all weapons are not coming. You know, we wait for that spiritual weapon. But you go two thirds, man. <laughs> the Lord going to turn us into uh, instruments of death. When he gets Not me. One third two. No, the Lord. I know they devil. Everybody got to no, get ready for what's the that? that's coming, I know they devil. Man. You know, Who whatever that? level you feel you need to get ready, y'all better get ready, man. All things, you know? Right? No, I ain't. material. You're all right, my son. <laughs> I don't know what else to say to you. Let me get that. Before you get that. This is Joel 3 and 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowsheds into swords. Woo. And your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. That's happening right now. Uh, 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 what happened? Uh, Israel is shooting or something. Oh, that oh, yeah, no. Hezbollah. They say, they Hezbollah. say Hezbollah. Iran sent to um. A, a drone into the, uh, uh, Israel's airspace, so they retaliated back. But they can shoot down Israeli jets now. That's right. That's, y'all that's the weak man. Y'all keep, yeah, stay yep. strong. Keep your head up yep. over there in Syria. Yep. You know that's what I mean? The weak saying I'm strong. Up in Lebanon, up in yep. y'all being oppressed by the devil. Shoot all them planes down. Yep. You know what I mean? And they, man, they over there. Them motherfucking heads, but they. Fuck. They ain't fired up. The whole area is fired up now, man. We shot an Israeli shit. You know the Israelis is mad about that. Oh. They finna go, ooh, they finna go ham on the fucking Yeah, because Netanyahu said, Iran, beware. I, oh, man. Because <laughs> they getting fed up, you know, because they... Then they say the least of them shall draw them out, too. Yeah. So they said, go the least of the it. nations, that's the Edomite. Amalek is being more specific, you know. That's the lowest of the low of the low, you know? That's Papa Roach. <laughs> That's the Papa Roach. That's Mama. a white roach. That's yep. a white cop roach. That, that, yeah, I've seen white roaches before, oh, too. Man, I saw a few of them, man. But that shit was special. Yeah, because ha cause ham would be the regular roach. <laughs> the chemicals. Right. But y'all people are supposed to be getting ready, though, man, because when the time comes, and y'all ain't prepared, that's on, that's gonna be on y'all. That's the white like, rose. Knock on the, the motherfucking neighbor's door. Can I get a few bullets, man? Can I borrow one of your guns, man? Can I get your knife, man? Great American flag. He, every day we out here, he out here. Man. Every day we out here. Man, man, if you let him be a great American, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, that's gonna be his shame. You can't help no. You know it's a Jake problem. Only a Jake could be dumb enough to, to fucking pledge his loyalty to some fucking retarded as that. Hey man, can I borrow some of your whip? Come on, man. Can me and my children come in your basement? Man, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Yeah, move that thing. It's called, bro. It's like a big, it's called, big, uh, what's called, big pandemic. Yeah, pandemic. Yeah, dude, yeah, dude looking in the backyard. Everybody's crazy. Everybody's in the back. Right, right, right. Dude came in, started shooting shit up. Damn. Damn. Yeah, that was a good ass movie. I forgot what it was called. Right, right, right. There was an episode of um, Star, Star, uh, no, the Twilight Zone, when the lights went out, and uh, they knew one dude had a bunker, and everybody come to his crib, man. They actually kicked the bunker door down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not prepared. And the dude who had the bunker said, man, I've been telling y'all this for, for the longest to get ready. I've been telling y'all this. No, I'm not opening the door. No, I'm not opening the door. Those motherfuckers assemble more and more two-thirds to come kick the door down, man. <laughs> I, know. Oh, 
burns. I think remember the first one. I think the first one right here to try to get into the house. Yeah, like that. Shit, I bet when the shit hits the fan, everybody going to Alex Jones's house. Everybody, yeah. he, he gonna be dead the first I'm day. He advertised this shit. Yeah, he, he threw it all out there. All right, all right. Stupid, stupid. You know? Everybody going, yeah, all them. That's a, that's the, that's a, that's the perfect definition of a carnival fool. It's Alex Jones, man. But she think they gonna be on the bunker in, and uh, they don't, they, they not even putting in the equation the spirit of the Lord. And hey, you know, if shit really gonna get like we think it's gonna get, and we know it's gonna oh, get, we know. It's like when that chip comes into play, you're really not gonna be able to be able to part of society no more, because you're not gonna be able to pay rent without the chip. You, you can't even pay rent without the chip. You can't. So where are you gonna live? You you can't pay rent without the chip. You can't drive a car without the chip. You can't get a license without the chip. Yeah. Yeah, they can scan you if you don't flip up on it with the chip. So think about it. You won't even be able to pay rent without the chip. Oh, that's a I was locked up in here. Yeah. Talking about uh, the fallen angel. Oh shit. Got shown in the scripture. Your boy. He tried to lie. He fell off the cliff and hit his head on every rock on the way down. Luke 22 and 36. Then said he unto them, but now he that has a purse, let him take it. And likewise his script. And he that has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. There you go. Yeah, so. The time is near, man. Now we ain't saying go out teaching straps and all that. Right, right, right. It's just telling you that we're in a time of fucking war, so prepare. You know? Prepare. <laughs> you know? The best way to prepare is spiritually. Yep. You know? Look to seek the Lord. Yeah, that's the real sword though, is the spirit. Seek ye the Lord. Seek ye the hour. Hey, right, cause you know what they say though, the old saying, hey, get at Hebrews 4 and 12. You know the pen is actually mightier than the sword. Because you know this scripture, right? You know, you can teach this truth to somebody, and you oh, wake someone up to this truth. I'm going to try to be lost. Uh oh, here comes the. I was talking Man, about I'm a the hypocrite. Truth. It'll open up a portal. I'm a hypocrite. I don't want for I need money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I try to make a good point, man. Here comes the, here come the portal opening up. The hounds of fucking hate is released. Oh, in this case, the Lord is safe. It was like, he came out of that portal, like that Mortal Kombat portal. He came up out of there. Out of nowhere. What the fuck? As soon as I try to make a good point. Who I say what? Because uh, you can teach somebody this truth. Like, say you say you are, somebody's trying to kill you. But through the teaching of the word, you can change the way that person thinks. And they end up joining forces with you. They said, uh, they said, uh, they said, uh, they said, uh, they executed by, uh, yeah. They say that he, he uh, perverted and he's like, he's gonna die with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, yeah, that's possible. Die with me. That's, that's what they say. That, like, say you got tanks coming at you. A tank, you ain't got no weapons that can penetrate the armor of the tank. But somehow, but through the pe preaching of the word, the motherfuckers are driving the tank. They, you know what I mean? You can change the way they think, you know? Yeah, we, you know, yeah, we live by faith. Yep. That faith we believe we can get power. You know what I'm saying? We believe we don't get power. And he said faith is a, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can remove mountains. Yep. So that's how it's going, man, with our faith, man. We're going to get down. Because, you know, we really overthrew the, uh, Roman, the pagan Roman Empire through the teaching of the word. You know what I mean? We took over that shit from teaching the gospel. Slowly but surely, you know, we used Romans roads against them and went on them roads teaching the word. And then slowly but surely, the Roman Empire turned into the uh, the Holy Roman Empire. Just through the teaching of the word. Yo, preacher. Uh, Proverbs 11 and 4, it says, 3, 3, it says, the integrity of the upright shall guide him, guide him. But the perverseness of transgression is shall destroy them. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. 
Oh, yeah? Yeah, riches ain't going to save you in a day of wrath. You know what I mean? Hey, what is that one scripture saying? James, woe to you rich men, for you heaped up treasures together for the last day. You, you saving all that money up. Got this nice place. You got all this money saved up. It's just going to get melted. Right? It's coming soon, too, you know? That's why the Lord said, lay up your uh, treasures in heaven. You know, don't lay your treasures on earth where moth and rust corrupt you. You can't tell that to these people. They, they can't even conceive. They don't understand what that means. So called, uh, the elect of this world, they got a little thing, like when she hit the fan, they got like little messages telling them to get to their little safe spot and shit. Like, you seen a lot of these uh, in the work, in the day movies where all the rich elites, they got, they got places to be and shit. Yeah. But. I think it's gonna fuck you. I think it's gonna fail. Man. Hey, the scripture say we're gonna hunt you out of every rock in the hole. The Lord already got it all. Got you. He already got y'all, man. Planned out. He, he got it all. Yeah, it's all planned <laughs> out. Like the most high didn't know y'all was gonna hide in your little rat holes. <laughs> but he forgot. Oh, you remember like George Bush? Uh, so, we don't know if it's true, but so called found Saddam Hussein hiding in the hole. We said we found him hiding in his little hole. I think he even said rat hole, didn't he? Yeah. We found him in his little rat hole hiding like a coward. And he said a proud too. So we found him hiding like a coward in his little hole. They beat that, yeah. If it was somebody that looked like him. Yeah, I feel bad, man. <laughs> yeah, because a lot. Damn. You look like so. Some other motherfuckers do look like him. Like yeah, do not take the body double job. Yeah. That's not a good job. Yeah. That's fair. 2 Corinthians 10 and 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. The mighty people are not all pulling down the strongholds. That's it. You do that through the teaching of His Word. And his Word is more powerful than a gun. It's more, it's more powerful than a rifle. All that. It is because we don't have weapons. We got to fight. We read scriptures, but we got nothing to kill us. This is this man. They got those tank piercing bullets now. Oh yeah. Tank piercing. We, we got we got spirit piercing bullets. <laughs> we still have spirit. Yeah, go right through your spirit, right up in your brain, and just mess. You gotta fuck you all up. Change your entire life. He could uh, waken you to the truth or have you bugged out for the rest of your life. If you can teach this word to somebody, they just get bugged out. Turn into a straight uh, uh, a straight head case after you give them the truth, you know? Just like your boy. The spirit of the Lord probably gonna have all the military motherfuckers turn on their motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Turn they, on each other. They probably gonna be fighting each other. They gonna, shit. when the shit hits the fan, they, oh, they gonna be like, oh, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. Right, I'm right. taking this Humvee with me, these guns with me. This is mine. Like I said before, man, they're not putting any pressure on your house. They should be all shit. They ain't putting in the mix of the spirit. Because, you know, we get into the time now where brothers is in the military right now is watching the videos, too. Think about that. You got brothers in the military that know they Israelites now. You know, because they, they in the military and they learn. They got YouTube. They got YouTube. You know, now in the military, I wish we had uh, uh, cell phone, uh, smartphones when I was in the military. They got smartphones. They be out training with phones. You know what I mean? Which is most of like top secret. I, I be on you. Actually, I get on YouTube a lot and I watch uh, Marine videos. You know, I like watching them train and blow, fighting and shit, just to see what see what's going on. They're all Jakes too. Oh, they're all Jakes in the military. Uh, I was watching one agent It's just. It's just when you're in the military, it's just a big party. Even when you're out training, you still out there party. We used to take whiskey out in the field with us. We'd be out training, we'd be like, ooh, pass me that jack, baby. You know what I mean? Because yeah. everything is cheaper, though. Oh, yeah, you ain't got pay. Best thing about being in the military is you ain't got to pay taxes. You go to that liquor store on base, boy, you get a bottle of liquor for cheap. Boy, we was drinking all the liquor, all the beer. 